everyone. Welcome back to my channel and my craft table. So glad you're with me this evening. I wanted to share a video with you this evening that shows you how to use contour in design space. So the project for this evening is I have a canvas bag here and these are, I love these, these are just little canvas bags that are zipper bags these work great with iron-on vinyl. They work great with um, infusible ink. I've actually done several infusible ink projects with um, these little canvas bags. But tonight I wanted to use this really beautiful shimmery galaxy um, iron-on vinyl. And the design that we're going to put on here is going to use the contour feature in design space. So I've got my mat, my vinyl, my blank here. I've got scissors, weeding tool, measuring tape, and I've got my Easy Press Mini heating up in the wings and my length roller. So let's head over to Design Space and check out the design that we're gonna work with and how to use the contour feature. Here in Design Space, I have pulled up two uh, image is that I wanted to work with this evening. So I'm basically kind of creating like a little um, teacher survival kit, but I didn't really want it to say survival kit. So I chose this one here. It says teacher stuff with the little flowers. And then I like this little image here. Um, who can resist coffee, right? So the first thing that I want to do before we get into the contouring is I want to go to shapes and I want to bring in a square and then I want to show you a couple of things. So most of the time when I am working with designs and I want to make sure that I'm going to stay within a certain size limit, I will get an image like or a shape like this and then I will resize it. So the bag that I'm working with is eight by, it's an eight by four area. So I'm going to unlock and I'm going to do eight wide and four. Okay. And then I will lock that back. And then I usually just for design purposes, I like to just change so that I can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. This is not going to cut at all. This is just for design purposes. Something that I recently learned that I'm really excited to share with you, I'm just gonna bring this down here out of the way so I don't really need it, is you can actually, instead of making a shape, you can actually do a guide. So I'm gonna go back to shapes. I'm gonna grab a square one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it and do eight by four, just like I did a second ago. Lock it back and then this time, Instead of doing the color, I'm going to go here to the operation menu and I'm going to go down to the bottom and it says guide. This is going to change this to one of those pink guidelines. So very similar to those little pink mugs you see on the infusible ink mug design um, setups. Okay, so um, for the mug press. Anyway, this is great. And what I like about this is that I don't have to worry about, about it cutting. Okay, so I'm actually going to, I'm going to go ahead and delete that first square because this is the size of my bag. I now have a guide. I don't need to have an actual square that I'm not going to be cutting out. Okay, so the next thing is that I have this image here and I have this image here. And then this is where the contour is going to come in. I'm going to move this over to the side for just a moment. Move that over a little bit. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I am going to take this particular image. And I'm going to come over here to my layers panel and I'm going to duplicate it. And then we are going to kind of manipulate these. This first one here. I am going to go down here to my layers panel at the very bottom and I'm going to click on contour. And then what I'm going to do is I basically what I want to do is I want to keep 
and I want to keep teacher and I want to get rid of everything else. So I'm going to go to hide all contours. And then I'm going to click on the T and I'm going to then get rid of the flower. Okay, so then I'm just going to go through and I'm going to click on each of these letters. All right, and you'll notice that they kind of turn a dark gray and that's how I know that they're turned on. Everything else is light gray, so it is not going to be visible. And then I'll just click the X up here in the top right corner. And now I have the word teacher. So I'm going to put that right there. Then I have the duplicate. So I'm going to go back to contour. And then this time I'm going to do hide all contours. Okay, there's my S. Okay, I've turned off the flower, there's my S, and then I'm going to grab the T, the U, the F, and the F. Okay, then I'm going to click the X again, and I'm going to bring this up to here. Alright, and I think I like that spacing so far. So all I did was I duplicated the design, and I contoured out what I did not want to see. Then I have this particular image here. I'm going to bring that up. I'm going to make that stretch across. Okay, so now my, I have this particular image is blown up. It's underneath the words teacher stuff. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of those and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to attach them. All right, so now they are basically one image element and I'm going to size that down a little bit. I'm going to come over here. Okay, and then we're going to bring this in. All right, now the good part, let's see. I'm going to just use this to, there we go. All right, so now, I can decide if I want it to be ginormous like this and fill the entire bag or if I want to make it smaller and just have it be inside the bag like that. I can even widen it, make it a little bit elongated, which is, you know, totally fine. All right. So I think that's going to be good. And it looks like we're doing a five and a half by a three. That's what those measurements are up there. So I like this image and the way it is set. Now, if you wanted to, you could always come in here and you could make yourself like a little, um, you could do some uh, initials in here for a teacher that you are wanting to gift this to. And um, I think that would be a great, sweet little gift. Just putting in a couple of treats, maybe a gift card, um, some pencils, erasers, etc. Maybe some Excedrin. That would be a great back to school teacher gift. So uh, for right now, I'm going to leave the initials off because I'm not sure exactly who this bag is going to go to yet. And I want to have options. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to my make screen. Now I'm using my joy this evening. You can use any of your Cricut machines that you are um, wanting to use. And I don't think it would show up when I go to the make screen, but I'm going to go ahead and just turn off the guide. I don't need it anymore. I have my image and I'm going to click make and then we're going to see our cutting mat. Now my uh, joy mat is four and a half by 12. I do have the smaller one. So if you have the smaller one, you'll click on the arrow, just choose the smaller one. All right, just like that. And then um, you can also use the larger one. Either way will work. Okay, and then we need to mirror. So I want you to remember that when you're using the uh, iron-on vinyl or the infusible ink also, that you have to choose a mirror for your design. 
and then I am going to click on continue. Now, if I was making more than one of these, so let's say I was doing a batch job so that I could have a bulk, you know, assembly line, I would come up here to project copies and I would just select the number of these that I need. And I think that would be really, really fast and easy way to get them cut out um, all at one time. Right, let's go ahead and click continue. And we're going to connect to the joy via bluetooth okay so now i've connected to my joy and this is like um it's really not a glitter it's more just like a shimmery pick um you know iron on vinyl so i'm going to go ahead and hit everyday vinyl it is going to ask me to make sure that my mirror is turned on and that when i put the material on the mat that it is shiny side down and then I'm going to do more pressure. And this is definitely something I do when I'm uh, cutting the iron on vinyls. I always do more pressure. You'll notice that I just need my fine point blade, which is already in my machine. I'm going to get my mat ready, load it in the machine. It will measure it all. And then the design space will give me the prompt to click go. So let's head over to the overhead camera and get the mat ready so that we can get this cut out. So the first thing that we're going to do is um, in my design space, I really only need up to about six inches. So I am going to use my glass mat as a measuring. So we've got three, six. So I'm gonna come about right here. All right, and ironically, when I cut that off, I notice that this, this is one, two, three, four, five wide. So I'm actually just gonna use this piece here. This is longer than I need, but that'll be okay. I'll just move all of these things out of the way for the moment. I'm just gonna use the standard um, grip mat for the joy. Pull that off. I'm going to set this. This is the shiny side and this is the dull side. Okay, so I'm going to put this on my mat and then I'm going to brayer it down really well. Let me grab my brayer. And now this is ready to go into the machine. So I am going to load this into the machine and it is going to draw the mat in. It is going to make sure that I have enough material and the design space will prompt me to select go. Cutting and it will be just a moment and we'll be pressing this. So I will just get my Easy Press Mini warming up in the background. Okay, our uh, cut is finished and we are going to go to the heat guide to make sure that we are using the right settings for our Easy Press Mini. So I will click Done, and then I'm going to go over here to Home, go to click on the heat guide. Okay, just in case that was a little too fast, let me go back here. The heat guide is right here with those wavy little lines. So click on the heat guide, bring that up. Okay, we're using the Easy Press Mini. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose the Everyday Iron-On there at the top. And my material is, let's see, it's really a canvas. Here we go, cosmetic bag, all right. And then we're going to click apply. Okay, so we need high heat. So I'm going to turn my Easy Press Mini on to the third wavy line. We're going to be preheating the blank for five seconds. We're going to use constant movement and firm pressure for 15 seconds. And then we're going to flip it over and press for another 15 seconds and remove the liner when cool to touch. All right, let's go back to our overhead camera and get started.
ready to go. And let's see, I'm going to, this is really difficult to see. So I'm just going to, that looks like teacher, that looks like the stuff. And then these should be all the elements down here. Okay. And so really I have definitely some real estate to cut off. Um, let's see if I can find the edge. A lot of times I will fold my design and see where it ends. Okay, all right, so I think I'm just going to cut off a little bit like that, and some of this, and then we're going to go ahead and weed this out. Hey goodness, that was a that was a struggle there with this particular element. But um, I'm not sure really why it was such a tough job to weed all that out. Usually the iron-on vinyl is so simple. Perhaps it's the type of vinyl that it is. It's um it's not a glitter, it's, I think it's more like a shimmer, but it, it doesn't feel like a normal iron-on. Anyway, it doesn't matter. There you go. So if you run into a design that gives you a bit of trouble like that, just, you know, take your time, go slow, don't throw in the towel. It usually will work out. So... Let's go ahead and I'm going to cut down, I'm going to get rid of all of this. Okay. All right, so now we are going to make sure everything is good. This really is a beautiful shimmery iron-on though, so I'm glad that I didn't give up on that. Okay, so let's do this. We're going to lint roll the canvas and okay so the easy press is on three so I'm just going to heat this up just like this. Okay nice all right, so, okay, I always like to think, like, how would I open this? All right, now I'm going to take this, and I'm going to put that down where I think I want it to go, and then I'm going to get my measuring tape, and I'm just going to see, like, that is about one and a quarter, and... That is one and a quarter. Perfect. I actually don't even need to move that. And I think, I think it's, um, I think it is pretty straight. I could just double check. 
the um, the top. So looks like uh, five eighths there and five eighths there. Okay, eyeballing stuff is really something I'm good at, but I guess that's a good thing since I am a geometry teacher. All right, so here we go. We are going to do this for 15 seconds. And we're just going to do constant firm pressure, constant movement, firm pressure. And we're just going to monitor this project in front of us. And I can already, you can already see, this is already lifting up. This is great. I won't have to fight with this too much. Okay. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think I definitely want to get some more of these and um, like the little H and the E here is a little wonky, but that's okay. Okay. That's okay. Um, I don't know that really anybody truly would notice, especially if this was full of treats. And, you know, in fact, we have a new teacher on our campus this year, like brand new, new teacher, not just brand new to our campus. So I'm thinking about making her a little gift bag. Well, a little teacher bag and then fill it with treats and such to give to her on our first day back. I think she will really, really enjoy that, appreciate that. Let me hide that little glare for you, sorry. Those lights and a glass mat. Okay, this is stunning. That worked out really well. It was kind of hard to weed. Um, I was a little worried there for a minute. I was going to have to re-cut it, but it actually worked out fine. And I just, you know, I just had to be slow and mindful and, and kind of work the vinyl. But uh, this is stunning. Okay, I am definitely going to add a bunch of these to my Amazon cart and get some more of this shiny black glitter. Oh, this is gorgeous. And I am definitely making some of these with um, with my teacher friends in mind. So this will be great. This is, this is my project for this evening. And I hope that you found um, some inf informative, inspiring information as far as the contouring. So this was one image, duplicated it to contour out different elements put them side by side so that I could put them on top of this one image here and this image was fine. I think if, um, you know, this would be a great place to put teacher initials, which I just think would be really awesome. And so I actually may still do that. And yeah, this was a great project. Learned how to do some contouring in Design Space, super easy. and. If you found this video informative or inspiring in any way, don't forget to hit that like uh, button and don't forget to share with your crafty friends if you think that they might be interested in the contour information and or a project like this. Um, if you are not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know next time content is posted. Um, it is summer, so I'm trying to come up with a lot of videos so that when school starts back, I can slow down just a little bit. But coming forward, we will have more back to school things, some um, back to school things, some fall, Halloween, and of course, Christmas. So until I see you in the next video, Enjoy the remaining of your summer days, and as always, happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. 
I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.